you know, to get the lower cooldown. And here I hope the Lulu is going to save me. And oh, that was just... Oh my god. Huge damage. Take a look at this. You know, I'm just from a long range. And easy peasy kill. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. And in today's video, I'll be playing Varus. So today's video is going to be a little special because this is a very fun build to play and this is a certain playstyle on Varus that is incredibly strong if played correctly. So in the beginning part of the video I'm going to explain to you how to build Varus and after that of course the gameplay. So there is there are different kinds of builds and for this video I'm going to make I'm going to do a challenge. If this video reaches 1500 likes I am also going to play this build on Varus. I'm going to try AP Varus basically, right? So you know if this video reaches 1500 likes I'll do AP Varus. So let's talk about this build. This is full lethality uh, Varus. And what I mean with lethality is um, flat armor penetration. As you can see, these two items both have flat armor penetration. So let's talk about how this build works. You start with, uh, let's see, where is the item component here? This one, the mana crystal, sapphire crystal. Now, you don't have to start with a sapphire crystal. You can also choose to start with um, this one the longsword. You can start with the longsword if you really want to dominate the early game, but Varus is generally not that strong in the early game, so only get it if you really feel like you can utilize it. Otherwise, you know, just get the, the sapphire crystal to be able to stack up your mana, right? So this is your first major power spike. After you get this item, just make sure you can you quickly stack up your um, passive. And I'm going to show you in the video how you can do it at fast. You know, there are some cool tips and tricks on how to stack it up faster. After the mana immune, you must go split. This one is going to give you bonus movement speed. It's especially good because you get slowed down when you charge an arrow. So the bonus movement speed comes in very handy. So after this item, you become incredibly strong, right? Because you have the 10 flat armor penetration, the damage, the ability haste, the bonus movement speed. Very, very good on various guys. And this is going to allow you to really destroy the squishy targets. As your boots get Ionian Boots of Lucidity. You just want cooldown because this is a poke build. This is a poke build, guys. This is not a build that's like supposed to be sustained damage. You just keep bashing those arrows, so you need cooldown reduction. The third item that you can go for, it depends. Does the enemy have a lot of tanks? You go for Mortal Reminder. Does Is the enemy squishy? Then you go for a Duskblade of Draktar. Now, the reason that you go for a Duskblade of Draktar is because you can stay out of range, um, out of vision, you know, out of vision, to get the bonus damage. And when you stay out of vision and shoot an arrow on the enemy, the arrow that you shoot to poke the enemy will do increased damage because of the Duskblade of Draktar, guys. That's why it's so powerful on Varus. And you should always, almost always go for this one as your third item on the Lethality build. Unless, as I said, the enemy has like Garen, Alistar, you know, super tanky frontlines, then you can choose to go for a Mortal Reminder. So, Guardian Angel is the last item. This is just a really nice late game item, right? Like, you, you've you entered the late game and uh, Guardian Angel is just gonna be your Guardian Angel in the late game, right? So, about your enchantments, actually. Let's talk about the Boots enchantment. Uh, stasis is very nice, you know, in case enemies actually catch you out, because Varus has no escaping. You can only root the enemy with your third ability, but you cannot actually escape. So Stasis will come in very handy, you know, just to, to allow you to survive. So for your runes, you go for Ari. And the reason that you go for Ari, again, it's because you're going full poke Varus, right? You're just using your arrows to poke the enemy. So Ari is gonna follow the poke and deal damage to the enemy. As my second rune, I use Champion, but you can also go for a different rune, like um, in the new update, Gathering Storm is going to be buffed, so, you know, Gathering Storm is going to be very nice with this build. Brutal is also okay if you just want to dominate the enemy from the early game, but I just go for Champion rune, right? Like, I would say that you should either go for Champion or Gathering Storm. So here I go for the regeneration rune because of the mana, you know, Varus just uses so much mana and um, this one is just gonna allow you to survive the early game with mana usage. Like after your mana immune, you know, your mana usage is not gonna be as annoying anymore, but in the early game, you really really need the regeneration rune guys. If you don't go for this one, you're gonna use up so much mana. As my fourth rune, I like to use Sweet Tooth because Sweet Tooth is broken guys. Like Hunter Genius, sure, is okay, but Sweet Tooth is just better, you know, the healing, the energy that it gives you from everything, everything, everything is just broken about it. And for your spells, you want to use Barrier. I only used healing here because my support in the last game used Exhaust. Alright, enough about the build, let's get into the gameplay. 
all right on to the gameplay so guys this is so fun like i love this build so much and you guys are gonna love it too but you have to play it the right way and i want to say one thing guys varus is better than you think trust me 90 percent i already know that 90 percent of you guys that's watching the video right now thinks that varus sucks 90 percent i can guarantee it so in today's video i'm gonna show you that he doesn't suck in fact he is actually pretty strong if played correctly because there's men like you know he might seem complicated and he is actually a little complicated but when you when you understand his abilities is very easy so the first thing that's important to understand is um the way that you need to use your first ability so when you've upgraded all your abilities um like your first ability could have a pretty long cooldown when you shoot it right so you can actually reduce this cooldown and the way that you have to do it is hit the enemy with at least one basic attack because that's how your second ability works if you hit the enemy with a basic attack you will put these stacks on them from varus which allows you to deal bonus damage to them with your arrow so when you hit an enemy with a basic attack and shoot your arrow on them your arrow will be on a lower cooldown this is super duper duper important guys this is gonna allow you to keep spamming those arrows like as you can see here you know i'm just shooting my arrow and that's what you can do in the lane right you can just shoot from a long range keep poking the enemy you know just like boom 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 keep shooting those arrows your third ability is also really good for poking just take a look at this guys like all i'm doing is i'm just completely out poking them here here boom yet again look at that look at all this damage so you'll see that oh my god that tristana in a later game you like look now i have my second ability ah he died oh yeah now yeah i have my second ability now so if i hit an enemy with a basic attack and then shoot an arrow at that same enemy it like the cooldown is gonna get reduced and then you can keep shooting arrows over and over and over again you know that's that's where you can get the real power from varus okay so in the late game i'm gonna talk talk to you about how to really effectively use the ultimate because there is really good ways to use the ultimate so the way that you want to play varus is completely different from any other adc completely so as you can see here what i'm doing is i'm charging up my bow and then i'm clicking on the x why am i doing that i'm doing that for the mana stacks guys so what you can do is you can charge up your bow and just uh go to the x oh my god look at this guy and you can go to the x to yeah you can go to the x to just get the mana from the sapphire crystal right and um and you're gonna get reduced cooldown by the way if you just charge up your bow and then not actually shoot it the cooldown is also going to get reduced as you can see here they they put all their resources into killing me and my team actually backed me up perfectly and here i actually like honestly i'm going to be honest with you guys here in this game i didn't know about this trick so that's why i'm telling you guys right now you can actually charge up your bow and then put your arrow back you know and when you do that like you know when you bring it to the x you're going to get the mana stacks for your mana immune but you're also going to get the reduced cooldown this is very important to understand guys <clears throat> so your third ability is also actually really really important because it does a few things first of all it deals damage but secondly it slows the enemy in that target area so you can effectively use this ability to cut cut off an escape route from the enemy let's say the enemy wants to run away you can shoot your third ability behind them and here this is another way to use your third ability as you saw here what I did is I shot my third ability on the Tristana, I slowed her, and when she is slowed, I can easily hit my arrow on her. So with another tip that I have for you on Varus is shoot your third ability on an enemy, and right after shoot your arrow. Because it's going to be very easy to hit your arrow, because the enemy is slowed. You know, the enemy is slowed. It's very, very easy to hit an arrow on a slowed enemy. I don't know what's going on with my screen. Okay, there, I fixed it yeah as you can see like here i didn't know about the trick that i talked about earlier which is kind of sad you know i would have had way more mana stacks if i actually knew so they're taking the dragon and and we're a bit later yeah as you can see they just took the dragon but we couldn't really do much about that one unfortunately so let's take a look at this oh easy arrow you know your arrow is really really good to finish off enemies as well i root this guy as well the ramus is diving boom and i like if the garen didn't kill him i would have killed him because 
Um, okay, let's talk about the second ability. So the second ability is there to really like execute an enemy. Because what your second ability is, is going to allow you to do, it's going to buff your arrow. You know, it's going to buff your first ability to deal bonus damage based on the enemy's, uh, uh, based on the enemy's HP. So use this one if you really want to deal a lot of damage, especially if the enemy is low, because it deals bonus damage equal to missing HP as well. So keep that in mind. When the enemy is low, shoot some basic attacks on them and then click on your second ability and then shoot your arrow. This is like, this, this is devastating. You can actually destroy enemies from like 50% HP with that if you correctly do it. You just have to get like, and you can get three stacks on the enemy, three basic attacks. And that's when you're gonna deal the max damage. Like as you can see here, you do damage based on the target's missing health. Like, you know, with the basic attacks, as, as you can read on top, you already do bonus damage, but when you activate the second ability, you also do bonus damage equal to their missing percentage HP. So that's why you want to use it when the enemy is low. Use it when they're like below 50% HP to finish them off or to just do huge damage. Take a look at this, you know, I'm just from a long range and easy peasy kill. This is what Varus can do. Boom! Look at that damage! Oh, if I killed him, that would have actually been a highlight play. But here you can see the power of Varus, guys. Oh my god, look at this. Oh! I almost died. <laughs> like, here you can see how important it is to basic attack an enemy before shooting your arrow. Because you could see in that fight, I got so many arrows out. And the reason for that is because I basic attacked an enemy before an arrow you know to get the lower cooldown and here i hope the lulu is gonna save me and oh, that was just oh my god look just look at this virus guys look at this champion how crazy is that there is no other champion in the game that can just kill enemies from such a long range like that like look at how easy Varus makes it looks makes it look crazy this champion is crazy oh i love Varus, guys so yeah remember you know if this video reaches 1500 likes i'm also gonna do ability power Varus. i really don't know how that's gonna work but you know i'll do it if you guys want to see it also i'm doing a skin giveaway you know i'm giving away 15 skins in june as well all you gotta do to enter is put down a comment under this video yeah so, um, Varus actually, even though you're, this is a lethality build, even though you have uh, uh, flat armor penetration, it's still relatively strong in the later game because you're going to have a mortal reminder. And this build is just such a, like, it's so good to kill squishies. It's super, super, super strong. And Lulu left me here. So what I'm doing is I'm just giving them my turret, right? Like, um, in a situation like this, where your support leaves you to help your team, just leave your turret, you know, because they can just turret dive you and kill you very easily. It's two versus one, so they can just easily turret dive me and kill me. So instead, I just took the L, you know, I left my turret for them, and they got my turret. And as you can see, instead, my team got a few kills, and they're also gonna get a turret. So it's definitely worth for me to just relax and not give them a kill. Because this is what I see many people do, you know. When the support rotates, the ADC always dies under their turret. And I'm like, bro, just run away from your turret. You don't need to be at your turret. Let your support rotate and run away. Here they're actually doing dragon again. And as you can see, like, it's not really good for us. Oh, I got charmed. And they got yet another dragon. Wow. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I actually missed. See, this is a problem with Varus, though, by the way. Um, if you miss your arrows, there goes, like, all your damage. So with Varus, you really have to be good at predicting the enemy and hitting those arrows. Because that's literally your damage. The arrows are your damage. So the ultimate is also a core ability of Varus. This is such, this is such a good ability, guys. The root. So use this one on a vulnerable target. I don't recommend you to use this one on frontline tanks. Thanks. Use this one when you can catch out the Jinx, for example, or an Evelyn, something like that, because you're gonna be able to root. You're gonna be able to root them for two seconds. I actually missed it here. Yeah, you're gonna be able to root them for two whole seconds, which is guaranteed gonna kill a Jinx, for example. So keep those things in mind, guys. Don't use it on the frontline. Try to use it on their backline. Um, 
and when you root them hit your basic attacks on them a few times like uh, the best thing would be to hit it three times to get the max damage from your passive and when you hit three basic attacks shoot an arrow shoot your arrow and after that you can shoot an empowered arrow to finish them off empowered is your second ability of course D like guys remember use your second ability when the enemy is at low hp because it's going to deal bonus damage equal to their missing hp when you when you click on your second ability you know it's going to empower your next arrow based on the enemy's missing hp so in the beginning of the fight you just want to poke them with your arrows but when you finish them off that's when you use the second ability guys keep that in mind it's actually very important to understand on varus and your ultimate is like really a good ability to just completely finish off an enemy with what I just said. Like here, I ultimate the Malphite and as you can see, he just died. He can't do anything, you know, when you, when you, when you loot him like that. Also, you know, during team fights, um, don't forget to use your third ability, guys. You know, don't just keep shooting your arrows all the time. Your third ability is actually very important as well. And not really because of the damage. It's more because of the slow that it provides, guys. Because, um, you know, most people only see it as a damaging ability or just like a slowing ability. But how I see it is like a ticket to, f to hit my first ability for free. Because as I said earlier in the video, when you hit your when you hit your third ability on the enemies, they're gonna be slowed, and when they're slowed, you can easily hit them with an arrow, easily, like easily, easily. You should not even miss it with an arrow. You should not even miss them if you slow them. Like here, I slow him, I root him, everything, everything, everything. Like the root is also gonna be a free hit, guys. It's it's like it's a perfect setup ability for anything you want to do with Varus. So that's why I really recommend you to use it in team fights, like as much as you can. And in the late game, uh, like right now, well, right now is actually mid game, but especially in the late game, your ultimate is going to have a really low cooldown, especially with the build that I gave you guys in today's video. So what you want to do is you want to spam it, you know, just hit it. Like, don't always wait for the perfect ultimate. Just hit the enemies with it, right? Because like, as you can see, I already have it again. So if I can, I like I'm just gonna root someone and deal insane damage. Like even if I don't kill anyone with my root, if I just manage to get a lot of value out of it, you know, by dealing insane amount of damage, it's still worth it because the cooldown is only like 25 seconds and it's gonna get even lower in the late game, guys. Keep those things in mind. Like don't just wait with your ultimate. Here, take a look at my arrow. So much damage. We got the kill on the Tristana. Here, I rooted the Rengar, as you can see. And look at how much damage we're dealing. Oh. oh my god, these arrows are just dealing so much damage. Like It dealt like half of Aris HP's damage. It's crazy how much poke this champion has, guys. Really, really crazy. And that's what this build really does. The poking. Like, oh. Are you guys really seeing how much damage it's dealing? Or is it just me? Like This is actually crazy. And the reason that I shot my arrow there is because for some reason I thought Evelyn would be there. Or, I, uh, sorry, Rengar, not Evelyn. Rengar. Rengar, Rengar, because he's also invisible. So here I was looking at the enemies and I was like, hmm, they have a Malphite, so, you know, let's go for the Mortal Reminder. I want to shred through the Malphite as well. So, yeah. Yeah, they have a tank Malphite, so uh, I decided in this game that I really wanted to shred through the tank Malphite. So you'll see me likely use my root on the Malphite, and even though I mentioned to you guys that you shouldn't really use it on the front lines, um, in a situation like our team where we have a really good burst heavy comp, and a lot of CC, you know, we have the taunt from Remus, we have Garwin's ultimate to finish off an enemy, we have Annie for burst damage, that means we can even burst down a Malphite. Now that's why I went for Mortal Reminder, because I want to contribute towards that burst damage that we have on the Malphite as well. Because we're going to have enough burst damage anyways for that squishy target, so I want to be able to kill the Malphite as well. That's kind of the point of the build right now. Oh, I got charmed. Oh my god, I actually got charmed. I was so stupid. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I actually got caught out so hard there. Crazy. This Karen is going crazy, man. This Karen is just going crazy. 
Yeah, I should make you guys a new Garen video again. You know, you guys really enjoyed the Garen videos, so I should probably make more of them. Pretty sure I'll yeah, I'll I'll make more Garen videos because you guys really like them. <laughs> And a good tip that I have for you when you're against a Varus is buy Mercury Threats. Like if the Varus is really annoying, just buy Mercury Threats. Because Mercury Threats is going to reduce the slow from Varus' third ability. And it's going to reduce the root duration from the ultimate. So when you're against a Varus and it's really annoying like the slow and the root, just buy Mercury Threats, guys. It's the ultimate counter to Varus. Because, yeah, like, you know, Mercury Threats are really, really good into Varus. Keep those things in mind as well when drafting Varus. Like, as you can see, this is probably, this is actually pretty stupid to draft for Varus that I did. Because, first of all, we have Annie. Annie, who has a huge stun. Secondly, we have Rambus, who has the huge taunt. And third of all, we have Garen with the silence. What does this mean? The enemies are all gonna buy Mercury threats. So, you know, they're gonna reduce the duration from, from my slow and from my root. You really want to pick Varus in a composition that's not CC heavy. So the enemy doesn't buy Mercury threats, right? And if they do buy it, they will get punished for it because you'll have other types of damage. Keep that in mind, guys, when picking Varus. Like, as I said, this is not the best draft for Varus that I have here right now. Also, as a Varus, you never want to position in the front line. Never, ever. You always want to stay in the back line because you are so squishy. You have no escapes, nothing. You only want to get a little close to the enemy when you use your ultimate. That's it. Like as you can see here, all I'm doing is I'm staying in the backside of the fight. And when I can, I just use my ultimate on the enemy. Here, like here you can see why it's so dangerous. Like did you see how much damage the Rangar just did to me out of nowhere? So keep that in mind guys when positioning on Varus. You, you really want to be careful of their assassins because they can completely one-shot you, right? And talking about assassins... Your ultimate is the perfect anti-assassin tool. For example, when an Evelyn dives you and she wants to use her ultimate on you, you can just deny that and root her. And when you root her, she should be a free kill for your team. Because she cannot use her ultimate and she cannot flash away. Nothing. So that's why your root is such, a inc such an incredibly good ability. Oh, I just missed it. Wow. Oof, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Oh, man, I'm tired. Oh, I'm so tired, actually. <laughs> it's fine, though. I just have to edit this video, upload it, make a thumbnail, then I can go to bed. Easy peasy. And the champions are also coming out tomorrow, which is very, very exciting. The new champions. Wow. Like, here, like, this is the perfect example. This is also why I chose this video to upload. Because here you can see really what the weaknesses of Varus are, which is, you know, if you don't actually focus the assassins with your ultimate, they're gonna steamroll you. They're just gonna destroy you. You have no counter to them. Like, no ability to just do anything against them. Like, you know, any other ADC has something. Ezreal has his blink. Kai'Sa has the third ability. Zaya has her ultimate. Jinx has the third ability. You get my point here, right, guys? Um, Varus doesn't have anything. Varus cannot escape like all these other ADCs. Varus cannot generate a shield or anything. All Varus has is his ultimate, the root. So when the enemy has heavy, uh, when the enemy has a big assassin like that, you want to use your ultimate to deny them. And as you can see, like I didn't use my ultimate on the Rengar. I was not paying attention, which is a mistake. When they have an assassin like Rengar, especially when he's focusing you, you constantly want to be paying attention to where he is and when he could, when he might actually dive you. Because when he dives you, all you gotta do is click on your ultimate. When you do that, you can just escape from them. It's it's like it sounds easy and it is easy, but it's also easy to forget. That's the thing. Like in this game, I was ignoring it, and you like you could see that I died many times because of that, which is pretty pretty stupid. <laughs> this Garen is just so like they can they can they can never kill the Garen anymore. He's level 14. He has like 10 kills. Yeah, like <laughs> you can, they cannot kill the Garen anymore. It's crazy. This champion is crazy. So broken. Oh, take a look at this. Take a look at this damage. Oh my god. That's sick damage though. Damn. <laughs> Whoa, guys, Varus OP, huh? 
Varus is OP, like that's what you can do. You can catch out an enemy with your root, hit a few basic attacks, use your arrow, and then hit another basic attack. <coughs> hit, uh, I mean, hit more basic attacks, and then use an empowered arrow to finish off the enemy very, very easily. I really hope that you guys are actually going to give Varus a try after this video, you know. And honestly, I really wonder how, uh, uh, I really wonder how good ability power Varus is going to be. Like this is full lethality Varus, and I wonder how how ability power virus is gonna be like i've never played it before but as i said you know if this, if you guys give this video 1500 likes i'll do ability virus as well and here you know we got the elder dragon and the game is just over right like the garen is unkillable i have an insane amount of damage and they cannot do anything anymore the game is just over take a look at this boom easy peasy game easy peasy game and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video you know where where i played various this is actually my first various video and i'm trying to learn a lot of new champions for you guys you know because you guys really enjoyed when i learn a lot of champions here i was actually still master right now i'm grandmaster actually yeah pretty decent amount of damage so thank you guys very much for watching and yeah i will see you all in an x wild drift video bye bye